Welcome on the Project Watch. This is her pee. Now, I tell them some never talk about the two. Right. Look at them. Right. Children. Right. Look at little Pitney. Seven year old Justin Perry. Nine year old. Not going leave us, Smith. Killed in a taxi. Nothing no about I going to do. Him come from Rona, so I'm Rona, so I'm this shot Rona, so you'd have probably seen them kind of videos all about the place. Me want to talk about when the leaders them, and also, you know, the Jamaican masses. I could talk about it now. Because for too long, the masses, the public, the people, I've been getting ignored. See, people happily tell you, say, yeah, the leaders, they're my this and my that. But, the Jamaican people yeah, are apartheid. The culture, the society. But tell them, say, by the time this video done, some of them got to the vulture squad. You know how I see your favorite leaders, them. In the house of fraudulent. Yeah. People might say, How dare you disrespect the, the, the what do you mean, house of fraudulent? The, the honorable house, not honorable to me. Yeah. The house of fraudulent is home to two political parties on both sides of the bench. Right. Who literally took Jamaica from a place that had one of the lowest murder rates in the world for to one with the highest fact. Go back and check the data. From the moment PNP and JLP right, got their hands on Ironman, the murder rate started to climb rapidly. Right. Only the Stooges right, who throw their blind support behind these people right, don't see that. Right. So don't tell me about honorable. Right. I have no reverence for your feeble leaders. This idea that we should respect politicians and just because they're politicians is quite simply ridiculous. Every right, plumber, they respect every you know, taxi man. Why do I respect politicians because of You can't say that at the end of the day, he's a politician, you must respect him. I don't have to do anything. Furthermore, why would I have reverence to mediocrity? Can't want to show reverence to people who have been failing right, in. The job of them say, them never do well at. You can't tell me about this and about that, but I cry me talk about the way I so. Them are run out of excuses. For years, they've lying to the people, them. Tell them, say, Iron Man was always a murderous country and he was always one of the most violent countries in the world. And the, but the data shows that he's simply unique and need. And of course, people used to dead. Let me say, the numbers speak for themselves. And say, what, do you, what do you expect of because of the, the, the 1970s? Rwanda came back from a genocide. Sierra Leone, Mr. said, put out a list. About a week or so ago, most peaceful countries on earth. They separated them by color. Like green, yellow, red, orange. Sierra Leone was in green. Sierra Leone. Civil war torn to pieces, Sierra Leone has bounced back and is now in among the green countries. That's how a country where the literacy rate is 47%, less than half of the country can read and write. The socio-economic reasons why Jamaica is a high murder rate, these are the people you follow as leaders. A warm me a warm up you know? It's warm me a warm up. Then you like, a tea. Boy, see if you just start to come at that boy, but I just want me out, it'll get much worse. Because right now, I don't know about you, but I'm fed up of being fed up. When are you people going to accept that your leaders either cannot do it or don't want to do it? It's either them can't do it or they don't want to do it. Either they lack the ability or they are willfully letting chaos run free. So which one is it? Mr. Labour, right? Mr. Comrade, which one is it? 
You see the political loyalists, even tell them on five degree. Just listen to what them talk, you can realize that uh, uh, education is really different from intelligence. You see the political loyalists, when Fiend Party in a power, he's so understanding when things now go or to go. And it's all oh, because of this and you have to remember this and you have to factor in this. When in party out of power, he has no understanding. Men of business, fix it. Then when in party going to you have to remember this must because you have taken the consideration. That's all them do you now. My 13 second sprint are better than your own. In reality, they're both slow. They must have run slightly faster than the other one. So when I run 13.2, when I run 13.1, when I run 13.3, and the one when I run 13.1 look like him well fast compared to when I run 13.3. But in reality, they're all slow. Play a little clip from the Prime Minister. Check this out. Who was shot and killed in the front of the car appeared to have been the target. My understanding is that he was wanted by the police. But he obviously felt protected by this ecosystem of crime that no one would have said anything. He felt so protected that he could hide in open view, that he could take public transportation, that he could be up and down a public thoroughfare, because obviously no one is going to give a statement to the police. But somebody knew and did nothing. They still have the guns and they can use them at any time because they know nobody will talk. Standing here right now, I'm very motivated. I'm very motivated because the deaths of those two children must not go in vain. Well, the policy of the government is going to expand because as I stand here, I have given a directive to the, all the security apparatus. They must find the perpetrator. Yes, they sir. must find him. So he thinks he's safe. Yes, sir. We are going to find him. Yes, sir. But we are also going to find the people who supported you. Yes, sir. Who knew and bring you all to justice. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough should have been enough from the first day in our office, Mr. Prime Minister. Mr. Prime Minister, when time would I tell you say enough is enough, you'll have to talk about the good things then. Oh no, remember that? We should talk about it. Why not talk about the good things then now? Remember them days, eh? People come, yo, talk about the good things then, you talk about the crime, how much money, you talk about the good things then. No, enough is enough. Enough is enough, Mr. Prime Minister. When did you tell people say them could have sleep with them do at home? The first day reaching the office, they should have realized enough is enough then. Right. When you were telling people to raise their voice in concert against the government for not doing enough, from day one they should have realized enough is enough. And now you have said enough is enough. Being in a power out, we'll do election again and win back again and now you have said enough is enough. Enough being enough. Enough been enough. No, sometimes make some them talk about Umbre. No. Umbre supporters are like, you are a pressure man, you are a pressure man, you are a pressure man. So. Then the Prime Minister. Maybe can't yeah, manage pressure and if you go find one work somewhere else. Yeah. Umbre shoulder more pressure because he's the captain of the ship. That's how leadership works. So I agree with me. No, so I'm not used to them thinking. I know true leadership and accountability and things we're not really familiar with. Right? Just like the title, like you like the title of boss and like the title of big man. But in terms of being doing boss things and big man things, we don't see it. Whether in public or private sector. Right? But right? And that's how leadership works. Remember Zachary Harding and then being CEO of the year. Take credit so Turn around SSL, then realize SSL wasn't turning around, it was uh, a huge lump of turd this whole time. Then he said, Yo, now nothing for me, dog, now nothing for me, I don't stop them. And people them, now nothing for me. So when things are good, take all that credit, when things are bad, now nothing for me. If I'm already going to the office and murders dropped the 300 a year, he would be soaking up all the praise. 
he would be soaking up all the praise. So since he's going to office, right, and far from the sleep with window open utopia he you know, told people were coming, then uh, he can get the pressure. This is how this works. Sorry, Mr. Political Loyalist. This is how things work. Opposition leaders, they might as well be YouTubers at this point. I don't take opposition seriously because when they want to get in a party, they tell us that pink is black. Let me say, Mr. Marky Joe with your guest. I talk to the media and to the most social intervention. I mean, I, I, at this point, I take Marky Joe as serious as I take right, Mr. Bean. I want to see them start talking. So, right. I'm like, here we go again. Right. Very disingenuous, as if he was in power right, and things are this happened. Him couldn't go look for nobody pity. Or nobody parents could tell them, say, oh, you're pity dead? We're going to bring in social intervention. He'll be talking, hey, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. Right. Unicorn me. And by the way, in case you catch the Marky Joe, yes, I combined Mark and Billy Joe. Right. Yes. That's exactly what I did. Right. Just say there's no confusion. Prime Minister Umber said, People know who, you know what the things are now and not only what the the youth was comfortable for war corona and this and that and that. Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Sleep with the doors open, windows open. It's twofold. Yes, criminals are loved and supported by enough people that are man. We know that. But, there are people who actually want to see them community, them constituency, them parish, them nation change and are willing to make the sacrifice. Willing to put themselves out there but they realize that when they put themselves out there, they get left out there in the proverbial wilderness. Mr. Prime Minister, your government had the chance to inspire 1,000 more sea force and instead, well, you turned off 1,000 more potential sea force. You of all people that talk about People come forward and give information. The people who did come forward and give information upon the biggest young child in history. I'm going to treat them like a stray dog. You could have sat down with that man. Listen to his story. Take learnings from him. You are an ex high ranking young member. You could have sit down and get all the information you need to know about how gangs really work and how you can truly stop them. But you're not interested in listening to people like c you're interested in listening to bureaucrats, uh, woke to this, so-called experts, people who don't know nothing at all about crime. Nothing at all. People who in 2023 still will tell us a socio-economic reasons why Jamaica did up at the murder right chance. Until they say, oh, well, if you do this, then we can do this. You had your chance. The actions speak louder than words. The actions, the way how you treat, the way how the government treat the witnesses in the Klansman trial, show other people who would potentially become witnesses, say, right. it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You know, most people link me, say, them can be the next evil or people who are in very similar situation, say the same thing. After what them see go down, right, right, they're not interested. Prime Minister Umber should have pulled every string yeah, in a geopolitical arsenal. Every string. Right. To make sure 
Jamaica and the world see. This Iron Man is ready to stand beside people who are willing to make the ultimate sacrifice or at least risk the ultimate sacrifice. To dismantle some of these gangs. We're not saying you should be on the, the Instagram or OOP, see if we're on the bunker. Of course, we know it's a high level witness thing that can go on. But we know right, about the behind the scenes thing. I personally reach out to the man then. And then make C4 come on the platform and say, Alright. Right. I'm glad for doing what I do. Right. This and this start out, this and that start out. When you start supporting witnesses, then they can talk about you become forward. Until then, I just nice this. Enough is enough. When a politician love celebrate, when bad man cool, but tell him to say unless a gang is completely dismantled and disarmed, there's no such thing as no real peace. When you sit down and work out, but you want bad man cool and say yo, we're gonna give them this and give them to make them cool. Man, look, look on this picture. Look, they're all having fun and play ball. And then one war start three months after. And you say yo, now the community is where you say. Your, your program did work and things. So, oh, three man did in a one day, then two man did one day, then three more did different. I mean, think you say it's an illusion. We're going to we're going to get them and carry them, what carry them go station so they can get bail. Carry them go station so the police carry them go court. The judge say, all right, go on a road, but make sure you stay now. Make sure you stay away from Spanish town though. So them can catch someone like Jim Brown. Are you imagine them all catch them? Catch them on the door. Carry them before the courts. So the judge can say, alright, alright, you are the one, right? Who is the main suspect in killing the children? Alright. Watch this, I'll give you bail in the sum of two hundred thousand. Stay away from Moby. Yet is he's like, ooh, I'm so scared. Right. In them, inside him I laugh, but in I quote him I say, yes sir, Anna, yes sir, Anna, Moby now see me again. So he go back on the road, when he go back on the road, go do. He man in friend him and hunt the witness, because there must be a witness. Right. Somebody will lamp on me and pipe me out in the ID parade, there must be a witness. See, this is no, no the law. Ah, 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 ah. And even if he does get convicted, in them drop, let's see them drop some big anti gang and mobile tomorrow. Pick up 50 man. Catch all the man and kill all the youth. Them. When they look at it, they get nine years. If the leader presents a mandate, if I am the prime minister of a country and I present a mandate, I say, this issue right here, so this crime issue, this I'm going to do this in five years, then this in the next five years. The only thing that can stop me from delivering my mandate is if you want to vote me out. I want to listen closely right now. I'm going to show the difference between your snowflake leaders, who want to look at softy softy, wiki wiki leaders, them. I'm going to show the difference between them leaders they want to follow and the country they have serious leaders. When a leader presents a mandate, Once you win the election, the only way you stop that mandate is to vote him back out. Right. Can make all the noise you want. Delivering the mandate is more important than pleasing everybody. Just like with the horse. Fixing the horse and the engineer was supposed to fix this horse. You can't talk about ill to all you want. But I'm fixing this horse. If you don't want me, if I run my ilty and lick my armor, then get rid of me. I'm bringing smiley for those two and some paint over the cracks. Every time we see so called leaders them come out and make a talk, man. then we see all kind of groups come out and make statements. Whether it's human rights group or human left group, the only people man. who decide how the mandate go. Is the electorate. 
So if you want my policy, vote for it. If you don't want it, vote against it. But once that ball is rolling, the goal of a score. You can you can say where you feel all you want, but you're gonna have to vote me back out. But your leaders them are weak as them you look nice make and them realize oh this might affect our popularity and them turn. But that's the difference between a leader with cojones right? and a leader right? who's only concerned with staying in power because when you're truly motivated by your mandate, right? if when you truly want to fix the shaky house, then who want vex can vex because fixing the house is the most important but when you want to be right? On the work side, you just want to stay on the work side. You don't care if you're fixing it. You just want to stay on the work side and keep it in pain. Then you will pivot a million times. One million times. Whatever I have to do or say, if you make them run me off of the work site, I can stay on the foundation. I can stay on the work site analogy. You, know? you see, when workman serious, you mean walk left your work. When a workman is serious, he will walk let you work. You will show him something and he tell him say, that a foolishness. Right. And you tell him say, yo, remember say, how we are here. And he tell him say, alright, keep your money and me walk off of the side. He tell him say, me now build that, because me build that, it will go drop down and kill people. And then you have man who say, well, that you want, fine, give, pay me, you build it. Two weeks after I drop down, people dead. Same thing applying in politics. This is how we're going to get out clans one other, right? This is how we're going to get out Tone Stokes. This is how we're going to get out Drunken Nation. And this we're going to deal with. So if you don't want this, then vote in somebody, right? We're going to come play Hopscotch, right? And I'll go up 87. And let me touch back on the Jamaican public. Two, look up in the dead. On the notice, barely anything. Think about for the last two, three, four, five years, the biggest stories in Ironman, the biggest outrage Ironman people had, most nice, make the most DP change to pictures of who, who well, was it? When I say Ironman people care only about hype and trend and everything, on the coast and semi can say that, but the proof is in the pudding. Right, so taste the pudding and tell me. Who get the biggest outrage in the Iron Man when them dead? Is it seven and nine year old, four year old, five year old? This story had already gone cool. I'm sorry for breaking it too, it's gone cool already. Iron Man people barely care when it happened. They care even less now. Two day story. Two kids, two day story. Then get one day each. These are not these kids are not no artists or no pretty dolly on the ground. Iron Man people don't care. You see, I can't say that again, judge the outcomes. And let me tell you something. The Irish Republic can't really go too hard on crime. No? Because deep down they know they revel in the culture that make crime thrive. Deep down they know that. Right. They have orgasms to hear in about pulling up catchy boy in a taxi, but just kill everybody in a taxi, all the people them too. Right. That's what they Consume when my beard, my drive go work right through for the whole day. Why would they lose sleep over a physical manifestation or something where right? they literally have orgasm? Like a man who enjoys watching, you know, kiddie porn cannot lead the choir against pedos. He can't. He can't say, no, bro, I mean. I say, like, porn is a form of entertainment. So even though I watch kiddie porn, right, in, a, in a real life, we burn out, man, we actually deal with the kids them in, a, in other minds. So I say, I just like, watch it. I say, I like, watch it. I'm like, watch going man with, with three-year-old and four-year-old. But in a real life, we burn it. You see, I say, bro. So deep down, them can't really burn out 87. Not for the woman, them can't burn out 87 because every day they get up, them say, 
87 alone make them drop panty. Let me tell you straight, a gun man never wanted them all. Now for the youth, them can't really go to war and crime and burn out crime. Why you want crime in because them love the badness to all you to have all you to have nine to five job love the badness. Right? Between the hours of from 501 to 859 the next day, right? He like visualizes himself as some kind of bad man and walk and talk like a bad man. Till they say, Will I friend my bad man? And then he go work, he put on his suit and go work, but he left 501. Gone back to that city. So Jamaica people said the culture. The crime thriving now. Them love it. They're a part of it. Them, them, them settings were only a criminal should say. Like yo men like yo men like no inform, I'm not like no boy called my name a station. Man they work at Denny one get his. I said no like inform. Yo dog, any boy ever called them on the station today. Dog, don't you work at like Lasco? What you talking about? How are you so consumed in a bad man culture and bad man quote unquote laws? Man work at ATL Kia at talk about any man we call the name of the station for date. Like, what are you talking about, dude? So they are still to run deep. It's not just the 87. And the civilian will do it. The culture as a whole. I want people to love the badness and the badness culture. So they can't really like, go to war against him. Because what am I get them kicks? Imagine he stopped tomorrow morning. How do I get them kicks? What am I gonna start listening to? And get off with? What am I gonna start enjoying themselves? What am I gonna listen to? To one drop? What am I gonna start? They know why that people them love it. Until I feel them pitney dead. Until they mother dead. The name turn. Auntie Gang. Sierra Leone. Wrong, they're one of the most peaceful. Sierra Leone, the families. One of the most peaceful countries in the world. Sierra Leone. So, all down the life when you're about politician, this and politician, that. Right. Yeah, when you forget it, though. Then forget one out, but when you forget one out, though. Because when you get leaders on the reserve, when you get the opposition on the reserve, when you get the police on the reserve, when you get the country, society won't deserve. There is no way a group of vegetarians. I will consistently right, put a group of people right, who love red meat in charge of the vegetarian organization. Right, them, a group of vegetarians who say they want to see a vegetarian utopia would never consistently throw right, would never consistently throw them support behind people who say ox tail and steak and beef would never happen. So if you see a group of vegetarians consistently, we tell you say them want to get rid of all meat eating, and you see them continuously put up, right. man way, right. spend all seven days of the week at KFC, then I mean to the vegetarian in my life, and right. they love the meat eating too, they love the steak, they love the pork, they love all the gravy, they lick all their finger, can't be, the leaders reflect the people, they're not aliens. People in the house are fraudulent and not aliens, they're Jamaicans. They're a reflection of the people. Patience squad, big open yourself. PIA, you don't know, more life. Ultra squad, stay circling. Bless.